I'm trying to differentiate whether my symptoms are from CCI or elongated styloids. Less than 50% IGB compression in neutral dynamic imaging and CTA with contrast show evidence of both. I'd like your thoughts on the best treatment approach. Current symptoms, left sided pinpoint neck ache, posterior to SCM, sometimes into upper trap, left tonsil pain, or intermittent ear pain and sensation. Lots of people have IJV uh, stenosis on imaging uh, who have no symptoms at all. So the fact that you have IJV stenosis on imaging doesn't mean much uh, because we can find people walking around the street right now who have no symptoms who will have a similar looking image. At the end of the day, you know, when you're talking about craniocervical instability, craniocervical instability is something that involves a neck injury and neck pain. It tends to have headaches, dizziness, imbalance, and other things. That other th those other things can include throat issues, et cetera. Having said that, when it comes to just a pure Eagle syndrome, pure Eagle syndrome without craniocervical instability will be mostly just the other symptoms, right? There's nothing about this that generally causes a lot of neck pain. It just would be things like uh, symptoms related to IJV compression, for example. If that's severe, you might get tinnitus or you might get uh, cranial nerve nine symptoms at the back of the throat without the neck component. So in general, if there's a big neck component, it's probably not eagle. Or if it is eagle, it's eagle due to the neck issue. And the focus is the neck. If it's more just the back of the throat issues and or things like tinnitus, which can be related to compression of the IJV, uh, then you might think you 